If you've been following my channel recently, you'll know that my last two videos were in Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. Both of these parks are awesome and are getting amazing rides for the 2020 season. BGW is adding Pantheon, an insane intimate multi-launch, and BGT is adding Iron Quasi, a huge RMC that has potential to be one of the greatest coasters ever built. These two coasters are arguably the most hyped up coasters for the 2020 season, so that got me wondering, which one of these two rides will come out on top? and which one will be the better ride. And that's how I got the idea for the topic of this video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing both of these rides, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you my verdict on which one I think will be the better ride. So stay tuned as I put these coasters head to head and find out the outcome of Pantheon vs Iron Gwazi. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview of each one of these rides and then I'm going to be putting these two rides head to head and grading them on seven different categories. Those categories are intensity, airtime, inversions, theming, appeal, fun factor, and overall experience. After grading them on those seven categories, I will add up the scores to give me which ride I think will be better. Keep in mind that these are just my opinions and I will make, to do, make sure to do a part two of this video once I actually get out to ride both of these coasters. So let's meet the competitors in this coaster competition. Let's start with Pantheon. Pantheon is a first of its kind 180 feet tall intimate multi-launch coaster with a high speed switch track and vertical spike. It has two inversions, a bunch of airtime hills, and a beyond vertical drop. It has a total of four launches and overall it, this ride looks incredible. It's going to be just as cool to watch and even better to ride. Next up is Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is an insane 206 feet tall RMC with two inversions and a 91 degree drop. This coaster has a huge amount of airtime and goes 76 miles an hour. All these amazing stats make it the tallest, fastest, steepest hybrid in North America. So now that we've met the competitors, let's start the competition. The first category is intensity. Now right off the bat, I'm going to give this point to Iron Gwazi. If you've ridden any RMCs, you know how intense they are. It's going to be super intense no matter where you're sitting, but if you're in the back, you will definitely feel it a lot more. Now, just because Pantheon is the first of its kind, we can't really tell how intense it's going to be. I would expect it to be super intense, but I'm still giving the point to Iron Gwazi because I think it's going to be a little bit more intense than Pantheon will. So the scores are 1-0, to zero, with Iron Gwazi in the lead. The next category is airtime, and believe it or not, this is a close one. Both of these rides look like they will provide an awesome airtime filled experience. Pantheon has that amazing outer bank turn and that cool looking top hat while Iron Gwazi has many airtime hills including its own outer bank turn and airtime moments. This is a close one, but I'm still going to give the point to Iron Gwazi. Any RMC provides impeccable airtime, so it's going to be hard for Pantheon to top this, but it's not impossible, it very well could be better than Iron Gwazi. But anyway, the score is 2 to nothing, with Iron Gwazi still winning. The next category is theming. I'm going to be judging these rides on which one I think has the stronger, more appealing theme. In my opinion, the theming on both of these rides is pretty much the same. It's pretty weak. From what I can tell, it's pretty light theming as to no theming during the ride. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But if I had to choose, I'd say that Pantheon's Roman theme is definitely stronger than Iron Gwazi's Crocodile theme. Even though the front car on Iron Gwazi looks better, I'm still picking Pantheon for this. So Pantheon has his first point. The score is now 2-1 to one, with Iron Gwazi still winning. The next category is a tricky one. This is the category of appeal. How appealing to guests will this ride be? This category can also be looked at which ride produces more hype, and therefore it will get longer lines and produce more publicity for the park. And I know I've been saying this every category, but this one is truly a hard one. It's hard to tell which one of these rides is getting more hype, and I'm not sure about the GP, but among enthusiasts, Iron Gwazi is definitely getting more hype as of now, so the score is now 3-1 to one with Iron Gwazi getting this point. The next category is Fun Factor, and this category is strictly based on how fun the ride is going to be, and I know everyone has their own definition of fun, but the winner for this category is Pantheon, and here's why. I think being launched backwards and forwards on that launch track is going to be incredibly fun. It may not be the most intense, but it's going to be really fun, and the fun factor is going to be really good. I basically compare this, to this part of the ride as to putting a Skyrocket 2 in the middle of another coaster. And considering the fact that Skyrocket 2s are some of the funnest coaster types, this coaster will definitely be awesome. So Pantheon is catching up, with the score being 3 to 2. The second to last category is Inversions, and this is an interesting one because Iron Gwazi has 3 inversions and Pantheon has 2 inversions. Iron Gwazi's inversions are a death roll thingy, a weird looking cutback, and a stall. 
and Pantheon only has two inversions, a stall and an inversion right after the first launch. What makes this category interesting is that even though Iron Gwazi has one more inversion, I would still say that Pantheons look stronger because Iron Gwazi's pacing is going to be so good that you're not going to be getting as much hang time as you would on Pantheon. Another tiny thing that factors into my decision is the fact that Pantheon has smaller lap bars. This is going to make you feel more exposed than Iron Gwazi's, and it's this little thing that pushes it over the edge for me, so the score is now tied at 3-3. Three three. And what a perfect way to go into the final round all tied up. It all comes down to this final category, overall experience. And this was by far the hardest to find a winner. At first, I was going to use the duration of the ride from the lift hill to the final brake run as a category, but then I realized the duration of both of these rides are pretty much the same. So what it boiled down to was which one of these rides would I rather ride. And even though I haven't ridden them yet, I still think I have an idea of which one is going to be the majority of people's favorites. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion and it will most likely change once I ride both of these coasters. So without further ado, the winner of this coaster competition is Iron Gwazi. The reason I picked Iron Gwazi is because this is a ride that shares similarities with some of my favorite coasters. It takes the speed of an RMC like Lightning Rod and adds inversions like Twisted Timbers. In fact, the Death Roll thingy is basically a stretched out version of Twisted Timbers Barrel Roll Drop just taken at a faster speed. Now even though Iron Gwazi won, I don't want any of you to think that Pantheon is going to be anything less than spectacular. This was a very close race, and believe it or not, I had Pantheon as the winner for a very long time until I thought about it for a little while and changed it. So to conclude, the ride that I think is going to be the best ride of 2020 is the extremely hyped up, insane RMC Iron Gwazi. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see content just like this every week. I usually post two videos a week and I read every one of your comments, so comment below what are your thoughts on Pantheon vs Iron Gwazi. Which one do you think will be the winner?